And this video is going to show you how to do it in Google Docs. So in Google Docs, it's a bit different. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do in the essay is go over to where this little pencil is and click the down button and go to the suggesting mode. So that's going to show you what you're suggesting in the document. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to the title. We're going to go up here and we're going to add a comment. Let's add a comment to that title. We want something that's a little more descriptive than To Kill a Mockingbird. So um, let's just type that. After you're done typing it out, just add comments and you'll see that on the right side of the screen. So the next thing you want to do is uh, strike through. So if there's irrelevant information in the text, uh, you want to communicate that with whoever is writing it. So uh, if this is shortened, you can always expand it. So you can show the whole menu by clicking the down button all the way to the right. And let's go to the sentence that we want to strike through. After we go there, we'll go to formats and then text. Now there's a shorthand you can use as well, but uh, we'll just click this for now. And you could see on the right side, it says strike through and you can add a comment as well. So let's add a comment to that. So we'll just add the section is irrelevant and to remove. So that way the reader knows what to fix. The next thing that we're gonna do is just show you how to highlight. So we'll go down to uh, 24 hours a day for seven days a week. And we're just going to highlight that. So you can add a comment as well. This is really uh, just for you to see how to highlight something. So like I said, it's just to show you how to highlight, um, but that'll help whoever is writing this, this paper. And let's go to this last sentence here. Uh, once again, it's going to, have a comment. Um, you can also add an emoji. That's a fun part of Google. So uh, if you're teaching elementary, middle, even high school, uh, sometimes the emoji might be um, something fun to add to your student for your students, especially if they did a great job writing it um, or if it's something that maybe you're confused about. So you could do question mark emoji. Um, you can also add a comment to follow up with that. So it could be, this is repetitive, rephrase for the main point. So uh, as students are going through it, they'll see these comments on the side and they can click any of the sections that are highlighted or underlined. Um, maybe you want to um, suggest that they replace incorrect words in the sentence, um, that would be a good option as well. So just click on it and put suggestion is to replace. Uh, so any misspelled words will pop up on the side. So students will go through it and accept whatever is wrong in their paper and make those changes. So this is a great way to correct any papers. It's convenient and it will help you save time and it gives students great feedback to know what to fix in their paper.